Hello, uh, Swell Aspen here from Kyantix. I'm about to do a guide to the Neem White Water Centre in Northampton. Just gonna take a run down there, stop off at each, fe each feature, show you what you can do in each one. Okay, so we're just setting off. Just gonna go for a straight run down. I'll show you what lines to take if you've never been here before or if you're quite new to kayaking. There's the open gate. Okay, setting off quite a, a passive course uh, as far as I go okay so this, this is the first feature you want to go down you see where the red arrow is there just slightly to river right um, you just glide straight through that it's not too much of an issue uh, keep coming down you want to go through the middle of this wave so just there uh, follow the red arrow okay the next feature is where if you're new to the sport of kayaking you might find an issue to get through this, just lean forwards and power as hard as you can through that hole in an attempt to get to the eddy just on the left here. Uh, you can get caught in that feature, but I'll, I'll show you how to get out of that a bit later on. Okay, here, notice two things, the giveaway sign and the fact that this is the most powerful feature on the whole course. Um, there's a technique to running it, which means that you'll get it absolutely every time it's to put your paddle on the lip like that you see that so you can just pull yourself off the lip of the uh, of the drop and you'd be absolutely fine and a lot of people tend to go sideways or get caught in the bottom there it's because I, I don't put the, the paddle on the lip you don't even need to paddle at all just that last little bit to pull you over so it's, yeah there's a, a close-up for the drop um, I'll show you how to run it sideways in, in a bit just in case you do tend to get it but it's really just down to that last little stroke to pull yourself off um okay we're coming up to this it's quite a an easy bit this is you just kind of can glide through it this this is a nice little feature here you just go straight through the middle of it going straight down but it's quite good for them to spin on i'll show you a bit later on this isn't too much it's the first nice big pool you might want to get a, a rest in this pool here uh, as we're coming up to probably the most complex bit of the course. I'm going to drop in it and surf on it to, to give you a closer look. But if you are running it just straight down, you want to power straight down the middle, maybe a slightly river river left because you have to come out left at the end of it. Okay, so I'm just going to pull into the eddy. Though, oh, oh <laughs> messed that one up a bit. Pull into the eddy. And you see there, there's like one feature after the next. There's, there's three, there's another one just there like three three features in a row so that's that's why you've got to look out for it i'm just gonna so this is a nice wave to surf if you want to learn how to surf waves this is ideal it's good for doing um flat spins on uh i'm gonna do one using the technique of a blunt which isn't a good idea as you can see you just get, get flushed straight off but right once you come after that you straight into all this stuff so uh you need to be like, quite quick Yes, this is a nice feature for learning how to side surf in. I'm just showing you there. Uh, yeah, it's a really smooth little feature. And this this is good for learning to freestyle in, but not too much of a problem for going through. You just go straight through the middle of it. You're absolutely fine. Uh, and that, that's more or less it. It's just a, a runoff down here. And then you can go around the eddy and back up to the top and do it again. Uh, oh, one thing to watch out for, you see those two boulders on the left and right, just there. Watch out for them because I remember the first time I came here I didn't see them at all and ran straight into it and it, <laughs> it frightened me a little bit, but it's nothing dangerous at all, so it should be fine. It's around that big concrete block and the best place to get out is just where I'm going to go to just now. Uh, so I'm going to get out and go up to the top and do some freestyle stuff with Chris all the way down, show you what you can do on each features if uh, you're wanting to freestyle or learning how to surf or whatever. Uh, I'll show you which, which ones are best for doing that. Uh, okay, so this is this is the opening like inlet sort of thing. Really good for cartwheels as I'm just, yep, yeah, there we are. <laughs> really good for learning to cartwheel in, learning, if even just learn surfing, uh, you can get the starts of phonics. I have actually seen someone do a full phonics in there, but um, I, I, I 
we'll see. Maybe in a, a few years. So yeah, there's uh, the cartwheel split wheels in there. Really good location for it. It's probably the best cartwheeling place on uh, the whole course, in my opinion anyway. And uh, there's Chris doing some split wheels, cartwheels, showing you how it's done. Uh, okay, now this is the one which I said you could get caught in, so I'm going to intentionally get caught in it and show you what to do if you're new to the sport of whitewater kayaking. So, uh, yeah, I'm just surfing it a bit there. The, usually if you're going down it, you won't get caught in it. It's if you get into this eddy, quite a lot of people will get pulled back upstream into it. And uh, it can be a bit scary if uh, you're new on this. So all you want to do, side surf in it like that, lean downstream and keep a low brace on your downstream side. Put your paddle in like that and do kind of a jaw stroke and just pull yourself out. It's not too bad to do. Okay, so now a common um, thing which tends to go wrong is running it sideways. So if you see I'm intentionally running it sideways, I'm putting my paddle on the lip like I said earlier, pull myself just straight out. Really, it's the best technique to running that drop um, no matter if you're sideways, backways, whatever just putting your paddle on the lip and pulling yourself off ok this is um, the little feature I said was good for doing spins on just gonna quickly show you really good learning how to surf, learning how to spin spins are really useful move for setting up if you ever get into freestyling uh, yes yeah, Chris is going in there quite a flushy little feature so if you kind of mess, mess it up slightly then uh, it will just flush you off like like that just get pulled straight off this is the the wave I said was also good for spinning um, the only thing you have to bear in mind is keeping your your boat so it doesn't catch the green water coming in because if it does um, it, just, it just flushes you straight off because it's quite a small wave but quite easy to do really really good place for learning it if you're starting out and for homing your skills but as a, I'm sure will be demonstrated in just a minute uh, if your boat yeah like that if you see the, the back of his boat caught the green water it just get flushes you straight off okay so this is the the bottom feature which um, yeah I said really good for learning to freestyle in uh, as you can see Chris there doing some cartwheels you can loop in it uh, like yeah, or oh, ne nearly lands it, but you, if with practice, that's a that's a good trick to learn. You can just about phonics in it, only just uh, there it is from the other side. Didn't didn't land that one, but um, yeah, you can do. This is the the most powerful feature. Uh, really, like when you get into freestyle and you're good and you feel really comfortable, this is the one to go for when you're here. Really big, really powerful. Uh, that. That's all, really. Um, if you have any questions, just send me an email.